going to be a uh, one take Friday here today. I apologize for that. It was another crap day. It rained pretty much all day with the exception of a couple couple hour dry patches. Um, I got that quiz done today that was a lot quicker than expected. It was only about 10 minutes, 20 out of 20 on that. So we banged that out. I did get the wheels cleaned up today finally. I've been talking about that. So I came out here and talked on the phone. Did the wheels and shine the tires up and now everything's all pretty and the battery lights flashing so it looks like we're getting a two taker because I'm gonna go swap the battery out I'll be right back okay now we uh, have a new battery in here so Aaron I'm gonna answer your comment and hopefully less than a 10 minute clip so I don't watch much YouTube anymore largely due to time constraints I spend a ton of time on YouTube's Website replying to comments and replying to personal messages and mostly replying to comments. Um, my time watching videos generally comes around at uh, two key points. So the end of the day, the last hour, 45 minutes, half hour I'm awake, I'll go to YouTube and I'll watch a couple things in my subscription box. There's only a handful of channels I keep up with and those channels I do pretty much entirely keep up with. I can't really, you know, watch every video in a row for for a while and then skip a whole bunch and then come back, then I feel like an outsider, it doesn't work, I don't do that. Um, and well, the other time I watch videos is on the plane. So I tend to fly a decent bit, so I'll go and download a bunch of usually Shaytards videos, which if you don't know, very long-term daily vlogging family started in March of 2000 and, oh my gosh, was it like 2010 or something like that? He's many years in, 2008 maybe? I think it was 2008. So I stick with a small group of videos. Um, Shaytarts being the one, daily vlogs. Second one would be CTFXC, that's Charles and Allie. Um, Allie number three, I believe, but um, I watch them semi-religiously like every day, or if I, if I miss a couple days, then I'll just binge it and catch up or wait till my next flight and go download them all and watch them there. Um, used to watch Lady Dottie. She did vlogs for a long time. They lived in Reno, Nevada. Uh, she and Kevin were great to watch and then <clears throat> they moved to San Francisco and within a week they stopped. So I've kind of missed that, but oh well, I'll get more free time out of it. And then I also watch like Crazy Russian Hacker, which is this funny Russian guy that just does weird stuff. Um, figures out how to use products in ways in which they are not intended to improve your life. Can I say that? I guess that's it. And then Magic of Rahat, he's this magician guy. It's funny, he does drive through pranks. And let's see, I haven't watched an iJustine video in years, probably since the iPhone 5 or 5S, something like that. I used to watch One Pug Life, this guy up in uh, Canada that did all kinds of crazy stuff. I watched Crazy British Bloke, Redneck Rickham. I don't watch any of that anymore. And really none of them do what they used to do. Dave's Farm isn't even in existence anymore, I don't think, at least not online. Um, other videos. Geez, I think that might be it. You know, there's a couple straggler little things that might show up in my subscription feed that users that don't post, like Kasim G. I used to watch Kasim G. I don't watch it, uh, too much. I don't think he really posts, but if he does post something, I'll watch it. Casey Levere, which is Shay's brother, I followed him for maybe two years, and then I, I quit that. And let's see, he's got a sister, Carly. I used to watch her stuff. I don't watch that anymore either. So thoughts on Shaytard stopping. So I have not watched the vlog or the latest podcast where they speak about the, the specifics. Mowing the yard last week, I listened to a podcast for about half hour, 40 minutes about how he was just thinking outside the box, thinking out loud, thinking about maybe doing one more year and calling it quits. I don't know what they've decided. I think I may have seen a tweet or something on Instagram where they're gonna go like five more months and then take a year off, to like totally quit. So picture I would go five more months, already in this uh, like five years, go five more months and then take a year offline. No Instagram, no Twitter, no Facebook, no YouTube, no nothing, nothing online. Now I can't believe he's gonna just cancel his internet service. I'm sure he's still gonna be doing occasional business email and texting and you know whatever he wants to do, but he's not gonna hold himself to any obligations. Um, I think he's more than deserved it. He's put up a video essentially every day, maybe in the last couple of years, more like four or five days a week for five years or more, seven years, whatever the heck it is, eight years if it was 2008. So the guy, the guy's earned it. You know, he's been crazy busy. He's trying to raise a family on the side. He needs some time to himself. So I get that. I also think that if he takes several months off, he's going to get involved in something. He's not the guy that's going to go sit down and lay by the pool and just play with his kids for five months. That guy's, he's a go get him. He's got to be involved in something. He's got to have goals. 
on the horizon that he's working towards. He's going to get involved in something else that is likely not going to allow him to return to YouTube in any sort of a capacity that we've been used to. And that's fine. If he wants to change his course, that's his call. Go do it. He's made his money. Let him do what he wants to do. Um, so I wouldn't expect him to come back in any kind of capacity. You know, maybe we'll see like monthly, he'll just shoot stuff throughout the month and then put it together in an hour special at the end of the month or something just to keep, I don't want to say it, but revenue or some sort of uh, relevance in the world. But if he takes a year off, man, he's going to lose a ton of subscribers. He's going to lose a lot of relevance. Uh, it's only going to be the hardcore people with nothing else to do that are going to watch his stuff when he gets back. I think, I don't know, he's got a couple million subscribers, billions of views, whatever. So those are kind of my thoughts on that. Now my thoughts on continuing my videos. So I think I started in about December 2010, which is going to put it at six years. Maybe that was my first stint. I did like 50 days and then quit and then resumed, but started at one again. I don't even remember how long it's been. It's been about 2,100 and I think today's day 23 or 24. So 20, 2,120 something days. That's a long time. Um, I don't really know why anyone watches them. They're clips like this. I walk circles around my car in the garage and or the basement and or my kitchen at three o'clock in the morning. The things that I do film of interest, some traveling or going out and, and doing whatever, finding cool stuff, probably makes up 10% of my content. Um, with this many videos, the JRS Vlog channel has accumulated, what, 1,200 subscribers, 1,300 subscribers? I mean, really, really pitiful performance. I make no money from these videos. I do them as a way, really they're for me. Uh, it's really cool for me to be able to go back three years ago, five years ago, which in my perspective, being 22, almost 23 years old, feels like a long time, to go back and see what I was doing, see the daily life. We're going to high school, we're picking up Kenan, we're taking a bike ride, we're going to uh, yours truly in Hudson on Sunday night with my grandparents, and then we walked around and found this car for sale, you know, shit like that. That's cool for me to look back on. I don't know, 10, 15 years, it might be really embarrassing or weird to look back on, but that's when I'll probably shut the channel down and keep them all on my terabyte or my four terabyte hard drive on my desk, you know, whatever. Um, so I don't know, I, I don't have an urge to stop right now. It's not really that much of a pain in the ass. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I gotta film stuff throughout the day. The worst thing is probably getting to the end of the day like today and realizing I have nothing because what I did today, well, as I told you 10 minutes ago, was clean wheels. I took Megan out to dinner tonight. We had a nice night. We started Bones on Netflix. I don't know if I'm going to run with that or not. Um, it's kind of weird, but we'll see. Um, so it's, it's kind of my way of having a diary without writing in a diary because I would never do that. Um, I happen to publish them online and I happen to have met a lot of really cool people and learned a lot of great stuff through doing it. So absolutely no regrets. Am I doing it in five years? I don't know. Um, part of me has thought about the day I moved to California is the day the vlog stopped. Uh, so it would be my last several years in Ohio, or the day I graduate, they could stop. You know, I vlogged all the way through a lot of high school and, and entirely through college, or who knows, I might be doing this in five years, I'll be popping kids out, or hopefully I won't be, but maybe somebody I know will be. So who the hell knows? I don't have an urge to, to stop today. I don't have an urge to commit. I don't, want, I don't like any commitment with this. I'm the opposite of Shea. You know, Shea wanted to do it for a year. The last, what, the last year of his 20s, he was 29. Um, so he wanted to make it to 30 and then he got there and he saw that thing was growing and he liked doing it and the kids were loving it so he kept doing it. Uh, I don't have a commitment, I just do it because it's interesting and it's a good way for me to remember uh, what I do. I actually reference them fairly frequently. If I forget to update my spreadsheet on um, mowing the yards and I think when I you know, sit down to do it then a week later I think, oh shit, did I mow that yard Friday or Sunday? I'll go to the vlog and with the first 30 seconds I'll remember that day and what I did. So it's useful to me. Um, if I missed anything, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'll answer them tomorrow or the next day or the day after that or however long I keep doing this. I appreciate you guys watching and the positive feedback and it's, it's great. I've met a lot of great people and uh, Nathan, I saw your email regarding the M5 shipping. Thank you very much for putting that together. You are correct in um, estimating my volume of email, so I will get back to you shortly, but I have read that and I'm, I'm processing. There's a lot going on right now, as you can imagine. So. Um, I'm going to go in and get to bed and take off the nice clothes because we went to Three Palms tonight and it was, it was very nice. So I'm headed to bed. Tomorrow is, uh, what, Saturday? I thought today was Saturday all day, honestly. But tomorrow is going to be another rainy day. Might hang out with Roswell and see if we can get a hike in. Otherwise, I've got an exam on Sunday night. It's only open from 9 to 11 p.m. So I've got to study for that and get some stuff together. But um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys on Saturday. Good night.